Hello students, welcome again. Students, in today's lecture, we want to discuss the major themes or the major ideas presented by William Shakespeare in The Merchant of Venice. See, there are four major themes we find in this play, The Merchant of Venice. Number one, self-interest versus sacrifice. Shakespeare has tried to present a conflict, you know, between these two ideas, self-interest and sacrifice. Number two is revenge. Number three, we have the idea of friendship. And number four, we have the thought of love presented in this tragic comedy, The Merchant of Venice. Now, the first idea that is self-interest versus sacrifice is presented by the dramatist with the help of two major characters of this drama and they are Shylock, the antagonist, the villain of the play and Antonio, an important character of this play. Here, the character Shylock stands for self-centeredness. He is a selfish man, a money-minded person, a self-centered person who, he, who wants to uh, gain richness in his life even at the cost of exploiting the other people around him. And that is the reason why, you know, Shylock uh, tries a trap on Antonio. Shylock offers a loan of 3,000 ducats to Antonio, you know, and this is how, you know, he tries to trap Antonio and towards the end of the play, we know that he wants to cut a flash from his body, uh, from Antonio's body, and this is how he wants to kill Antonio. So, Shylock is a self-centered person, but just opposite to this, we have another character called Antonio. Antonio is a symbol of sacrifice. Antonio is a candle, you know, which burns itself. The candle burns itself in order to give light around it. In the same manner, Antonio risks his own life in order to help his friend Bessanio to get married with Portia. Okay, so this is how Antonio stands for uh, sacrifice and uh, Shylock, the villain, the antagonist of this play stands for self-sacrifice, for self-centeredness. Another idea which is projected by William Shakespeare in this play is revenge. Here, again, between these two characters, Shylock and Antonio, uh, the dramatist Shakespeare has presented this idea of revenge. Now, this is a superficial or surface meaning. Under that, Shakespeare has also presented the conflict between two different communities in Europe and these communities are Christians and the Jews. You know, since, since the olden times, there had been the conflict between the Jews and the Christians. The Jews had been the had been working as money lenders. Okay, the Jews were trying to exploit the Christians in the olden times. So the conflict already uh, was found in the olden times, and that conflict has been uh, represented by Shakespeare with the help of these two characters, Antonio and Shylock. Moreover, Shakespeare has also presented the idea of the importance of friendship in life. You know, Antonio and Bessanio both presented as very good friends and uh, Antonio helps his friend Bessanio, puts his own life at risk and this is how Shakespeare has presented that idea with the help of these two characters. Moreover, the fourth idea is the idea of love which is found in this play. Here in this play we see that there are three couples presented, Bessanio who falls in love with Portia, Lorenzo loves Jessica and Graciano loves Nerissa. And you know, the path of true love is not always rosy. That is what William Shakespeare said in one of his other plays, right? So the same thing happens here also. 
all these three couples they find some obstacles in their love life but towards the end of the play you know they all get united and they get married at the end of the play and this is how the play ends happily so all in all you know shakespeare has presented these four ideas self centeredness versus sacrifice number 1 number 2 revenge number 3 friendship and number 4 the idea of love i hope this information is helpful to you please do share this among your friends and classmates thank you for watching thank you